Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for February 3rd through February 9th, 2020. Pisces this week we have Mercury moving into Pisces. We have Venus, on, uh, that was on the 3rd, and we have Venus moving into Aries on the 7th and then we have the Leo full moon on the 9th. So Pisces, this is definitely a week of manifestation of some kind. Some of you, this is attached to the Leo new moon um, around the time frame of end of July, early August of 2019. Others of you, this manifestation coming forth is attached to a different time frame. But, you know, um, Leo new moon to Leo full moon, there is manifestation and many of you will experience that. Also, we have Mercury moving into Pisces, which, you know, Pisces, I feel that's going to help really bring some clarity to a lot of different things. Even some things you didn't even know you were confused about. So let's pull a card for overall energy. And we have attitude, desiring transformation. Ooh, so um, you are going to be receiving a lot of insight this week, Pisces, about you know what it is that you need um, to change, to think differently, to do differently, to be differently for the transformations that you do want in your life, what you want to become, what you want to evolve into, what you want to attract into your reality. So attitude is desiring transformation. So some of you, um, you know, Spirit's going to be talking about the things that you need to see. And for others of you, you know, with this Leo full moon, this is like you've been in that process. You've been doing the work. You've been tweaking, reshaping, and growing yourself as best as you can. And now this beautiful manifestation is coming in. So let's pull these cards and see what else Spirit is going to add to this reading. Reward. Keep your eyes on the prize. Grudge. Bury. Don't carry. Manifest from thought to form. And wisdom. Let your light shine. Oh, Pisces. What a lovely little spread so far. Okay. So, definitely a manifestation coming in for some of you this week. And, you know, all of you actually. But again, um, when I say some of you, what I mean is some of you, this is attached to that Leo new moon of last year. And for others of you, this is attached to a different um, site, moon cycle. And you're receiving the manifestation now. So that is coming in for everybody because we have the reward, okay? And with grudge, um, bury, don't carry, and then wisdom, shine your light. This here, that desiring transformation, that's where, you know, you are this week going to be coming into deeper awareness about yourself and different things that you can change or try or do different to help further your progress, okay? Because you have reward and manifest coming in. So you are receiving from this Leo full moon energy, absolutely 100% for sure, okay? But um, through this manifestation, to keep carrying it for, forward, to expand on it further, um, there's a bit of evolution that needs to take place in you. And for many of you, this is where you've got to let the past be what it is, come into a place of acceptance, come into a place of forgiveness, bury, don't carry, and focus your mind on what it is that you do want in your life and put all your energy there, all your mental and emotional energy there in the thought, in the physical action towards it opposed to putting any energy in to the past and what didn't happen when you were slighted, when you were wronged, when things didn't work out. Don't waste your energy on that anymore. Bury, don't carry, focus on your highest good, Pisces, and, you know, in the physical, walk towards that the best you can, shining your light, all right, because um, what's manifesting now is only meant to grow into something even bigger. So let's pull some tarot. I feel like I 
should give these a good shuffle for you guys. The devil, so this could involve a Capricorn, two of Pentacles, King of Cups, there you are Pisces, that's your energy, whether you are male or female, Temperance, there's some balance, could involve a Sagittarius, and lastly, Death, could involve a Scorpio. Okay. Let me just get these orderly. You have three major arcana, so this is um, significant energy coming through. And Pisces, um, there is, I, I actually really like this because the devil right here is like, um, you know, feeling overextended, really putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into something. And um, it's almost like, where you don't feel like there's enough, where you have to take away from some other area of your life to give to this specific thing, you know, that you're really trying to manifest or bring about into your reality, all right? But now this right here, that really um, heavy, in the grind, um, you know, not very much of you energy left after all of this, like there's not much of you left after this, that's finally ending, Pisces. Um, and there's balance coming into your experience. And it's whatever this is that's manifesting. And what's manifesting, see that through the two of pentacles here, is, you know, it comes in one form, but it's meant to grow into much more. And that's why you are going to also be brought into this bit of awareness of self, you know, how to better temper your energy and what you give out opposed to what you're receiving and being fully aware of all your obligations and what must be met in your life and then you know equally distributing your energy to those things as well as the things that you Pisces are working on so there's a lot of balance coming into your life this week where you may have been feeling a bit distorted or overextended let's and then also grudge bury don't carry death card it's really time to let the past be what it is and be very present in the now because good things are coming in Okay, we had the Queen of Wands jumping out. So um, there's some fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Next is the Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Ace of Wands. Nice, Pisces, you got two Aces going on in this reading. And that tells me new energy, something's manifesting. But again, with the two aces, that's where it's manifesting now, but it has a greater potential to grow into much, much more. So don't forget that. And um, hold on, I'm just, I'm fanatical. Like they've got to be straight to me. I don't know why it's ridiculous. But, anyways, there we go. So um, with the devil and the, you know, queen of wands, that's, you know, how hard you've been working all the way from your soul towards whatever this is for you, Pisces. Um, you guys have been definitely working very hard. And now this two of pentacles, in order for this manifestation to grow into even more, that's where this a bit of awareness of self comes into play, where we've got to see what's potentially holding us back, thoughts, behaviors, patterns, things like that. But you come into that awareness, no problem, King of Cups, because you manifest this and you want more of it. And, you know, um, you're walking away from this heavier, intense energy. So even though you've been working really hard and, you know, this is going to grow into something 
bigger and more, I don't feel like you're going to have to put in like as much energy and effort. You were like laying the groundwork, creating the foundation. And that's very apparent with these two aces coming through. Like you're still in the beginning of the journey, but the work is going to get easier because you're much wiser for it now. And, you know, throughout this week and through the whole process of anything, always keep your eye on the prize. Um, you know, there is a reward for you. Keep your thoughts, you know, of a higher vibration and focus on that. Let nothing deter you. Let nothing distract you. And those things that do, Spirit is going to bring to your attention so that you can improve them, overcome them, and move forward. And this manifestation coming in can grow and morph into something even bigger and better. So really um, leave the past behind, what could have, should have, but never happened trust your journey and you are coming into that understanding with the wisdom there and just be present in the in right now because good things are coming in you've got two aces pisces i mean that is just absolutely wonderful and you're walking away from this heavier energy where you're now much more balanced okay so those are your messages for this week pisces i'm wishing you all the best take care